Hey there! It's Bobby, aka Paginator, and I have another double unboxing. I know I just posted a double unboxing, but I have another one. For some reason, all of my subscription boxes just came in two days' time, and that is awesome. So here we go. I have Nerdy Post, which is a new one for me. I decided to give it a shot for one month and see if I like it. And then we have the Loot Crate box for J.K. Rowling's Wizarding World. Which one shall we open first? I think I'm going to start with Nerdy Post. Just because that's a new one for me and I'm eager to dig in and see what they have here. So from what I understand, Nerdy Post sends paper things like art prints and cool signs and different things that you can hang up or display or whatever you'd like to do with them. And they are based on some type of fandom, so I have no idea what's going to be in here. And we shall just dive in and see. Okay, so the first thing that I see is something that's rolled up in bubble wrap. And let me just warn you, I don't know all the fandoms in the world. It's impossible for someone to know everything out there. So if this turns out to be something I don't know, please don't persecute me. Just give me a little help if I ask for some identification. All right, so still wrapped in plastic. Still have no idea what this is. And if I can make quick work of this plastic, we'll get it out for everyone to see. Okay, maybe not even scissors are going to help this cause. Come on. Aha, here we go. Now, what is in this cylinder of paper? I really want it to be something that I know. Okay, so very pretty. Let's see if I can read this to you. I mean, it's worth hanging up just because of the gorgeous artwork. You are the first dream, the only dream, I ever was unable to stop myself from dreaming. You are the first dream of my soul. And from that, ooh, and from that, I hope will come all other dreams a lifetime worth. Do I know what this is? Probably someone's out there screaming at me because they know, but I don't know. I don't know. I'm sorry. It's beautiful words and beautifully created art. All right, let's see what else is in the box, and maybe that will help me out here. Okay, there's a big stack of stuff, so what to pick first? Oh. Oh, okay. So what I grabbed was a print of this guy, and on the back it says, Nerdy Post, February 2018 Fictional Boyfriends. This month was unexpectedly fun to put together. Oh, I'm not going to read the whole thing to you, but favorite fictional men. Oh. Okay. So I'm trying to figure out. Okay, so I'm guessing that what I just unrolled was the print. Um, Will Herondale, the Infernal Devices. Oh, that makes sense because I haven't read the Infernal Devices yet. Don't yell at me. I really want to, and they're on my stack. They're waiting for me to read them, but I just, for some reason, I always end up picking out something else to read. I need to be in the right mood to pick up those books and start reading them. Dang. I should have known that because it's so well written. I should have known it was Cassie Clare. Okay. Next thing, we have a mini print, and it says, We were destined to be the best of friends. You've thwarted destiny long enough. Um, postcard, mini print. Okay, let me hold off on this one. If I figure out which is which, I will let you know. Okay, next up we have a bookmark. And apparently we have, oh, it's two-sided. Okay, so... I wish I could freeze this moment right here, right now, and live in it forever. And I would have waited 500 years for a thousand years. And if this was all the time we were allowed to have, this was worth it. This is Resand and Farah. It has to be. Yes, bookmark. Side 1, Resand, Akatar series by Sarah J. Mass. Bookmark side 2. 
PETA from the Hunger Games. Okay, so one side is Resand and the other side is PETA. That's cool to have two different fandoms on one bookmark. That's awesome. Okay, what? What? There's this little tiny note. Due to a printing mishap, the Jamie Fraser sticker has become a small mini print. What? There's a Jamie Fraser sticker? Where? Okay, hang on a second. Jamie, where are you? This has to be the Jamie thing. So it's not a sticker anymore. It is a mini print. What? Okay, let's see if I can read this. When the day shall come that we do part, if my last words are not I love you, you'll can it was because I did not have time. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> oh, I love Claire and Jamie. I haven't seen this show yet, and I want to watch it so bad. I'm, I'm not watching it for moral reasons. I've heard there's lots of sexual content in there that... I just, I don't, that doesn't sound appealing to me. And if you've watched the show and you love it, that's awesome for you. I'm not judging anyone for watching it. I'm just choosing not to, although I'll probably cave and watch it anyway. I guess it's Claire and Jamie. Okay, this little sticker says, She looked like art, and art wasn't supposed to look nice. It was supposed to make you feel something. Oh, this is Eleanor and Park. This is from Park, from Eleanor and Park. Okay, so that is what this is. Okay, I don't understand what, how this works. Nerdy Tees, oh, you have to pay extra for Nerdy Tees. I was trying to figure out why it says there's a t-shirt but that's like you pay extra if you want to add a t-shirt. My brain is so not on point today. You can probably tell because I am like not figuring things out here. Okay, we have a pin. Ignite my love, ignite. Um, lapel pin. Warner from Shatter Me series by Tahira Mafi. Okay, I haven't read all of that series, so I will soon. What? Oh, okay, I think I figured out what that flowery print was. I think this is Gilbert Blythe from Anne of Green Gables. That makes sense. Okay, Gilbert. I love Gilbert. Okay, what else do I see here? <laughs> yes, there is a postcard. Look at that. My two favorite pirates. Captain Hook and Captain Jack Sparrow. Oh man, that's awesome. And you can color it if you want to. I'm afraid to color something like this because I don't want to mess up the beautifulness of it. Those are some beautiful men right there. Okay, the last thing that I have is a magnetic bookmark. And this is Sirius Black from Harry Potter. Okay, he's a fictional boyfriend? Although when I did the Harry Potter tag, I did say I would date him just because I wanted to date one of the adult characters and not be creepy. Okay, I get that that's serious kind of, when he was not freshly out of prison. Because in this picture, he's wearing his suit. Anyway, <laughs> that was a really fun box. Okay, now that I've kind of gotten the hang of this, um, how this works, I, I am really liking this box. I think I'll keep going for another month or two and see what other fun things that they have. Um, yeah, I don't, I think... My favorite thing is is the two pirates, or maybe the Jamie Fraser.
card. I, it's hard to decide between bookish stuff. It's, there's just too many good things to choose from. All right, moving on. Let's go to the second box, which is J.K. Rowling's Wizarding World. Now, Loot Crate usually sends this out in odd numbers months, and as you know, February is an even numbered month. However, this is supposed to be their January box, and unfortunately they had a delay with one of the items, and so they were really good about emailing people and saying sorry about the delay, so it didn't do good for my patience because I was waiting and waiting for this box, but now it's here. And before I can cut the sticker on it, I have to kind of show this. I'll try not to show my address there. Um, maybe you can't even see it. I don't know if I can get it close enough until the very end. They always have such fun, like, different stickers every month to seal up the box. And I, I'm sorry, I have to cut it. Sad. All right. Shall we open it this way so you can see? Oh, the inside of their boxes are almost always so much fun, too. So this looks like inside the Weasley's house. This is the clock that tells Mrs. Weasley where all of the kids are. They're home or in mortal peril or at Quidditch or work or school or in the garden or in transit or they're lost. And there are the little spoons and figures that go around and around for each person in the family. That's awesome. Parents today could use something like that because now you just have to track kids with their phones. Okay, first thing in here is a fabric something or other. <laughs> something or other. I'm using really good descriptive words today, aren't I? Alright, let's open this up and see what we have here. Alright, so this is a big scarf. All right, let's see if I can hold this up. It's very gauzy, so I don't know if you can see the print super well here. Um, we have some Latin words going around. So I'm going to have to look and see what the words are because I just don't know yet. What are the words on this scarf? Da -dum, da -da -dum, da -dum. Okay, so this is the Black Family Tree Tapestry. Oh! So in the house, they have the big tapestry, um, the Grimmel Blaise house. And, uh, yeah. So you can either use this to trace the ta uh, the family history of the black family, or you can wear it as a scarf. It's a pretty green color. You know, Slytherin is not my house, but it's still a pretty scarf, and I will still wear it. You know, I've been sorted a couple of times, and one time I was sorted into Slytherin, and I rejected that. So I got on Pottermore and kind of did the official sorting, and I'm a Ravenclaw. So the next time I get one of these boxes... It will have changed to hopefully include more Ravenclaw stuff because when you sign up for Loot Crate for the Wizarding World box, you can put what house you're in. And I put Gryffindor originally just because I didn't want to be Slytherin. But now that I consider myself officially a Ravenclaw, which is what I always thought I was, um, I switched my information to Ravenclaw. So there we go. All right. Now, I've been trying to hold in the excitement about this next item because I saw it when I opened the box and I tried not to freak out. Let me get it out of the plastic for you. It is a house tie. And there's a lion on it. So depending on what house you have signed up for, that's the tie that you get. So obviously, had I switched over to Ravenclaw before, this tie would be blue. Um... Let's see if I can get this unfolded correctly. Aha, so we have a lovely tie, and I will have to reteach myself how to tie a tie because I have forgotten so that I can wear this. Okay. All right, next item. Okay, so they've been doing these horror crux, crux badges um, and pins, so I'm guessing that that's what's going to be inside this little package here. Alright, 
to get it out of the plastic for you to see. Oh, this is beautiful. I would wear this even if it weren't a Harry Potter thing. That is really cool. So that's, I checked to make sure I was telling you the right thing, but the, as the moment I saw this, I thought this is the diadem. This is inspired by Rowena Ravenclaw's diadem. It says, Rowena Ravenclaw's lost diadem was one of the most famous wizarding heirlooms, even after it was stolen by a powerful dark wizard. The Horcrux series continues with this exclusive pin. Super fun. And the last one, it was the Hufflepuff cup. And I don't remember what the, uh, oh, the other one was something to do with Slytherin. Anyway, this is one that I will for sure wear, even if nobody knows it's Harry Potter stuff. So that's just pretty. All right, what is next? I believe that we're down to our last item, which makes me sad, but that's okay. Now, it's a book, but it's not like a novel. Hold still, paper. I'll show you the cover. So as you're looking at this lovely cover, I'm going to read the back of it to you. Every wand has a story of its own. In the Harry Potter films, each wand is as unique as the witch or wizard who wields it. From Hermione Granger's elegant vine-wrapped wand to the bone-inlaid wands of the Death Eaters, each was designed and crafted by the filmmakers to reflect its owner's identity. Harry Potter the Wand Collection is a visual guide to these magical wands, their makers, and the characters who mastered them. Profiles of each wand featured stunning new photograph photography of the original props, wand statistics, insights from cast and crew, and other filmmaking secrets from the Warner Brothers archive. That's really cool. And so just to give you an idea, I'm going to show you. Okay, so Snape. Yeah, he's not always a good guy, but he really is actually a good guy. But here we go. Here is his wand. So they have these beautiful photographs of all the wands and then this information along with its... Um, Talk about the character and the wand. Let's see if I can... Oh, this is kind of a fun one. Here's Cho Chang's wand. Kind of swirly-twirly. So, anyway, you get the idea of how the book works. It's really pretty. On the inside, the photo photographs are all gorgeous. And, uh, yeah, I really look forward to sitting down and reading through this book. That's going to be really cool. Fun to read. Awesome. I hope you all are having a wonderful and bookish day. We'll see you next time. Adios. Oh, and happy reading.